In this video, I'll demonstrate a non-disruptive test recovery of three virtual machines from my primary data center to my secondary. But first, a little bit about my environment. I'm using VMware vCenter 5.1 with Site Recovery Manager 5.1. For my storage, I'm using NetApp Data on Tap 7 mode. NetApp currently offers storage replication adapters for both 7 mode and clustered data on tap. Regardless of on tap version, the testing workflow is exactly the same. Go to support.netup.com to download the latest version of the SRA. Okay, let's take a look at my lab. In my primary data center, I have three Exchange virtual machines that I'll run the test recovery on, CAS, MB1, and MB2. My CAS, or Client Access Server, has a single NFS volume, while my mailbox servers, MB1 and MB2, have an NFS volume and one iSCSI volume. When I run my test recovery, SRM will create a bubble network. NetApp will then create a zero-capacity writable flex clone of my virtual machines and add them to the bubble network. Then SRM will power the virtual machines on according to my previously configured recovery plan. Taking a look at my protected site, I see my three virtual machines. As I mentioned, CAS has one NFS volume and the mailbox servers have one NFS and one iSCSI. Over on the recovery site, I see my placeholder VMs. I can tell they're placeholder VMs because they have the SRM lightning bolt. These placeholder VM files help you to see visually in vCenter where your VMs will reside prior to executing your recovery plan. The placeholder database is a local non-replicated data store that holds these very small configuration files. Before I run my test, I'll send a quick email that I can use to verify my test recovery with. By clicking on Array Manager and then the Devices tab, I can see my Snap Mirror relationships. The blue arrow shows me the direction of my replication. Notice when I click on my Recovery Site Array controller, I see the direction of the arrow changes because this is my target volume. A quick check on my protection group to verify that the three VMs are in fact in my protection group. By clicking on Recovery Plan and then the Recovery Steps tab, I can see the recovery workflow. If I need more granularity to my plan that SRM Workflow doesn't offer, I can add my own custom script callout by clicking on Add Step. OK, let's run this test. I can decide whether or not I want to replicate recent changes before running the test. And we're off. The first step in the workflow is a Snap Mirror update. Here I see my status is transferring. I can see this using either SSH or On Command System Manager. Once the replication is complete, SRM will request a copy of the virtual machines from the NetApp SRA. The SRA will create a writable storage snapshot using FlexClone and mount them to the recovery site. Once the flex clones are mounted, SRM will power up the virtual machines. Taking a look at host and clusters, I can see the clone volumes have replaced the placeholder database. I can see the virtual machines are beginning to power up. I also see the virtual machines now belong to a newly created test network.
By clicking on the History tab, I can see a complete report of the test that can be exported in just about any format. When I finish validating my test, I can run the cleanup workflow. So let's see what I've got. On my protected site, I still have my production VMs running. On my recovery site, I have an additional copy of the virtual machines running in a bubble network using flex cloned copies of the data stores. Logging into one of my test VMs, I can see Outlook is connected to my Exchange environment and Mail is up and running. 